Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ntpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you an awesome new vSphere 5 feature called user defined network resource pools. So let's hop over to my vCenter server and let's take a look at the environment. I did some preparation during John Troyer's podcast and I was wondering how the uh, user defined network resource pools were working. So what we have is when we are going to networking I created a distributed virtual switch and on this distributed virtual switch are two hosts configured ESXR and ESXL and both hosts are configured with one physical network card and there's one DV uplink port so um, both hosts are contributing one physical network card and the links are up I've created two virtual machines one virtual machine is configured on a standard port group and the other virtual machine is configured on the distributed port group. So the virtual machine ending with address 128 is configured on a st uh, the distributed virtual port group. And the other virtual machine ending with 177 is configured on a standard port group. Right here, VM network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can partition the bandwidth of your... Uh, of your physical network cards and how you can bind a user-defined network resource pool to one of your distributed support groups. So the first thing you have to do is go to home networking and then you have to select your switch and go to the resource allocation tab. You will find the predefined system network resource pools right here but the cool thing in vSphere 5 is that you can also add an additional user-defined network resource pool right here. And what I, did, what I did is that I created a test resource pool and you can adjust the settings of this resource pool. So the name is test, you can put in the description, you can put in the adapter shares, normal, low or high or custom. And you can also put in a host limit. Let's first put it on unlimited. And the cool part about this thing is that you can also configure quality of service priority tag. So the quali quality of service priority tag uh, can be uh, one is the lowest for background traffic ranging to seven which is the highest which is network control and between uh, tag one and seven we have voice we have video we have internet network control we have critical applications so based on the service you are uh, servicing for your clients you have to put in a quality of service at, uh, tag. So let's go back to our vCenter server. Uh, I've defined a test resource pool everything is normal and the settings are normal it's unlimited okay and um, the next thing we have to do is go to our DV port group and when you are going to the settings of your DV port group you can change this one setting calls called resource allocation and at resource allocation you can select the resource pool which must be bound to this uh, to this di distributed port group so in this case I'm binding the test port group to uh, the, the, the test resource pool to the test port to the DV port group and then I'm going to do my test so the virtual machine that is attached to the standard switch is equipped with a special tool which is able to generate a lot of network traffic and the virtual machine that is attached to the distributed port group is also equipped with the same tool and I'm trying to send out a lot of traffic from the virtual machine that is configured with the distributed port group to the standard port group so let's start the test when I hit the go button a lot of tra traffic is flowing through the virtual network adapter and through the distributed port group and through the distributed switch to the standard port group and what you see is that the traffic is going very nice it's nearly 100 mbit per second and the test duration is about 20 seconds and it's doing about 70 or 80 when I view the graph you can see that it's going real cool right here so if you have a multi-tenancy environment and one of your clients is producing a lot of network bandwidth and your physical adapters are shared between multiple clients, you don't want a no noisy neighbor, but you want to be able to give each client the amount of bandwidth they deserve. And when there is contention, 
you want to uh, limit the bandwidth of a certain client that maybe is creating too much noise. So let's go back to our vCenter environment. And when we are at vCenter, we can limit the amount of bandwidth that can be used by the clients that are connected to this distributed port group. So I'm hopping over to the home page. I'm going to networking and at networking, I can configure uh, I can configure the amount of traffic which can be used by uh, the test user defined resource pool. So when I'm changing the settings of this resource pool and I'm not using unlimited anymore, but I'm toggling the bandwidth of this port group to 100 Mbits per second and I'm hitting OK. Let's do another test and let's look if the virtual machine is able to generate as much traffic as in the first test. So let's go to the 128 machine. Let's hit the go button and let's see what happens. So what you immediately see is that the bandwidth is still the same because it's capped to 100 megabytes per second. So there's no real difference right here. But we want to put it on the stress and we want to create contention on uh, so it's, it's, it's uh, at 80 again, we want to create contention on uh, the physical, on the port group. So let's go back to the vSphere client. Let's go back to this resource pool and let's limit the bandwidth to 10 Mbits per second. Let's do the test again. Hopping over to 177, hopping over to 128, push the go button. And you see that the bandwidth is toggled right here. It's only 10 bits per second, 10 mbits per second right now, and the amount of traffic is uh, is toggled. So that's the real nice part. If you are putting in unlimited the shares mechanism between the clients will work, and the applications with the real demanding network applications will get priority over the over the other virtual machines and when we look at the graph we see that it's nicely capped at 10 mbit cool okay so the test worked out a great new feature in vSphere 5 have fun with it eric sloof is signing off bye bye